Welcome to Gus Tech. This is actually Windows 10. Today we finally have our hands on the official release build of Windows 10. As you can see, there is no more version number here in the bottom right of the screen. This version is 10240. And again, it is the official RTM, which is released to manufacturers of Windows 10. Everything is going to be polished as much as it can be for an early release like they've pushed. And uh, we're going to take a look at it here for a second and give you a brief overview of what you can expect. Uh, first off, your start menu is new and improved. You have an actual start menu, not a start screen. Uh, we've shown you some things in our previous videos, but just to recap a little bit here, we'll open up our Groove Music app. This is now the new music app for Windows 10. It's no longer called Music, which is really generic anyway, or Xbox Music. So again, not any changes from when we last showed this to you. It just has the new branding of Groove Music. Uh, nice and quick and snappy. If we go into here, we can also see that it has some updates to our uh, the camera app, the phone app, the calculator looks kind of improved and shiny. Um, again, really basic improvements across the board, but it is bringing everything up to the modern look and feel. If we open up the file explorer, we can see that it has updated icons. Everything looks new, looks clean, um, and the design language has finally been unified. This is something that's taken you know, months of time for them to get a design language unified, which is kind of funny because they focused on other improvements first. Other than that, not a whole lot new here in the, in the start menu, except that you can access your power options directly from the start menu, as you can see, which is nice and familiar for most people. And you can also get to your settings. It's no longer called the, the control panel. It is actually just settings. And there is an app here that you can manage all of your settings from this central location. Now, of course, you can still access your control panel as you would previously, but it's just gonna look like it has ever since Windows Vista, so. Uh, moving on, we're looking at the Notification Center. Windows tells us updates were installed today even. Oh, fantastic, let's go and see what they are. Oh goodness, Windows update. It was last updated and checked today. Perfect, thank you. So as you can see, um, the Notification Center is gonna be really nice. It's gonna show you notifications for your emails, Facebook, Twitter, anything that's integrated that gets normal notifications on your phone, you can get notifications on Windows 10. Uh, we are gonna briefly show you tablet mode. Again, this was explored in another video, but as you can see, it brings the start menu to a start screen. And it tells you right here, see more of start. So you can click on this and it's gonna give you more of start. Oh, fantastic. So it's gonna give us more info, just like we had in the normal start menu on the left side. So we can see our most used apps, we can see some other good stuff on there. Additionally, we have Cortana integ integration into the OS, um, and you can see that she's nice and tells us all these things that are wonderfully revealing about us as individuals. Um, <clears throat> Cortana is awesome. If you use it on the Windows phone, it is a great service and really is pretty polished for coming out as recently as it has. All right, and actually, while we were opening up Microsoft Edge in our video, it uh, Explorer crashed. So Obviously, there's still some bugs that need to be worked out. This is on a Surface Pro 3. The compatibility should not be an issue with the hardware on this because this is designed and built by Microsoft. So I can't imagine that uh, other computers are going to be scot-free from the, the issues as well. But again, it is fairly polished, and there may be a few quirks here and there, but uh, we're assuming that there's going to be quite a bit of day one patching when it finally gets to that point. So looking at Microsoft Edge, um, first off, I wanna show you how the app menu or the apps run in tablet mode. You can see that they take up half the screen here with a little bar in the center and I can choose, oh look, OBS that we're using to record the video. Or I can go back to full screen. Uh, we showed a brief overview of Edge in a previous video. We're actually gonna be showing a lot of details on this uh, here in a future video because Newest reports from our camp are that Edge is actually faster than Google Chrome and Safari at running the same exact benchmarks that uh, Safari and Google Chrome essentially made. So, so Microsoft actually hit it out of the park there with that. Let's go back to desktop mode. And uh, <clears throat> nothing really too different. Uh, the the Wi-Fi menu has changed a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to look at. Battery menu, again, also easier to look at. 
and volume is now for some reason horizontal rather than vertical. <clears throat> we don't really have a huge issue with it, but it I don't really love how I can't uh, I can't just see it vertically and have it move with my scroll wheel, which is just feels normal to me. I don't know. That's my personal preference. Um, you can see here date and time has been updated to match the theme of the OS. So it's a dark theme now. It's not just coming up as a white background like it did in previous versions. It really honestly looks like a very nice operating system. They've come a long way from the past month when we were looking at their previous builds and there was a lot to fix. Again, there's still some quirks. As we mentioned, there was a crash as we were actually filming this video uh, from Explorer. So it did reset itself fairly quickly. It wasn't anything that was detrimental. We had to restart the computer. But keep in mind, when you do get this build, it is going to have a few little issues still. Um, one thing to keep in mind, Windows 10 will be releasing on the 29th of July. However, it's going to be a staggered release. So the only way to truly guarantee yourself a full release version on the 29th of July is to join the developer preview. We'll add a link in the description so that you can get access to that if you want to join it. If you don't, there's not really much need to because you're going to be getting it probably within a week or two. They're just doing a staggered release to make sure that the downloads are easily handled and more importantly that your hardware is going to be compatible. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that updates are now going to be mandatory. Uh, they are going to be automatic. You can't turn them off for home version anyway of Windows. So what that's going to mean is you can't go in there and select, you know, to not get your updates and have 150 waiting updates on your computer. This is a good thing and a bad thing. The good part is you don't have to deal with grandpa's computer and, you know, make sure that he can't uh, change how his updates are done. So that's going to be kind of an issue, but I don't think it's a big issue because the main reason they're doing it is to make sure that security updates are pushed out properly. Now, a good part of it is that Microsoft is going to be running every update through their developer preview program uh, for the foreseeable future. So there's always going to be essentially a group of beta testers and you can be one of those beta testers if you'd like again through the developer preview program and that's going to last for as long as Windows 10 will be around so that's the foreseeable future and that's going to make sure that updates are working properly on different hardware and software configurations and uh, honestly, I don't see a whole lot of compatibility issues coming forward from that, but just keep in mind that that is going to be the case. In a very condensed nutshell, that's Windows 10. Uh, keep in mind, this was just an overview to give you guys an idea of what you can experience in the next couple weeks once it actually is released to the public. Um, we've seen a lot of good things out of this build. Hopefully they are still gonna be improving things in the day one release and day one updates because we did still have a crash while running Edge just from Explorer crashing itself, which is Windows itself just kind of crashing and then restarting. We didn't have to restart the computer, but it is still kind of an issue. Stay tuned for more videos as we're going to be going into a lot more depth on a lot of the details of Windows 10. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at Edge browser, its performance, its capabilities, because it truly is changing the way that browsers work. And actually, honestly, it's very, very impressive which we never thought we'd say about a Microsoft uh, developed Internet Explorer clone thing. Uh, but honestly, we, we've been very impressed with it. Other things we're going to be looking at are performance improvements in Windows 10 in general and usability functions so that you can see how to operate it efficiently, how to get the most out of your computing experience. Check back for more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified of any additional videos that we shoot out there. And like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any questions, concerns, jokes, or something that's really important that you just have to tell the world. We are more than happy to hear from what you guys have to say and any improvements that you want us to throw into here. As always, everything that we've used to create this video is available in links in the description below. You can also see some information about the developer preview and how you can be in the developer preview group or special club that's not invite only because anybody can get into it in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We are Gus Tech and we'll see you next time.